Alright, so the things that you're going to need to get in order to do this right here is a 80mm computer fan that I got right here. Uh, you can just get that from Radio Shack. Easy to find. Doesn't take very long. Uh, costs like 10 bucks. Um, some extra wiring. You're probably going to want to need that. Uh, soldering iron. Uh, some solder, obviously. Um, some goggles if you want to be safe, whatever. Um, 12 volt power supply that I got here somewhere. Hang on a sec. Uh, 12 volt power supply. Now, this is, this is optional right here, but um, I'm using the 12 volt external power supply because I've been hearing rumors that um, Microsoft is banning people from Xbox Live for modding their fans and whatnot, and I don't want to take that chance, so I'm just going to roll with an external power supply right there. Um, now, what I, what I did, because I, I didn't want to strip this down right here. I didn't want to strip that down with the um, to these two wires right here. So what I did is the thing that it goes to. I took this out of the motherboard of the charger that the 12 volt power supply goes to, and then on the bottom, if you have a digital multimeter, this this is kind of advanced. Um, you'll have to know something about electrical engineering, but if you have a digital multimeter you can um, go along here and you can find out which ones are your power and which ones are your ground so for me this pin right here is um, my ground and this pin over here is my 12 volts okay oh also this is also optional but um, this is a rocker switch uh, I'm gonna be using it I recommend that you use it too. They're easy to find. They cost like three bucks. Just a little on and off switch for your fan since you're going to be using an external power supply. If you want to do it, um, if you want to do it just hooking it up to your Xbox, then if you look on your Xbox motherboard, there's actually, let's see if I can get a good shot here, 12 volt power supply is right where my finger is, my finger's on it, it's on the end of that little chip right there uh, you just solder it onto there and it draws 12 volts from there so you don't have to worry about an on and off switch or wires coming out of the Xbox alright so now the first thing that I did to improve the airflow I'm not going to do this in front of you because it took a while but I just cut out the little mesh wiring on the back of the Xbox 360. That, I don't know, it took like 10, 15 minutes. And I just took some some of these right here. Some little uh, cutter thingies. And I just stuck them in the hole. And, uh, you know, worked it in there until, uh, until it fell out. So that was the first thing I did was I cut cut that out of there. So now what we're, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to take this and hook it up to the 12 volt supply. So you want to take your fan that you got right here, and originally it's going to have, I didn't change anything about that, it's going to have a yellow wire with this on the end, you can disregard that, and then it's going to have some uh, a big green wire, and it's going to have a couple things that are connected on here. Hold on, let me see if I can find out where it is. I just cut it off and threw it somewhere because you don't need it. But basically there's going to be a, I think a Molex connector that's going to be connected to the end of this green wire right here. And all you got to do is clip that off. Now you want to clip off a little bit of that green wire, uh, a little more of the green wire. But make sure you preserve the black and the red wires right there. And then strip off a little bit of the end of the strip off a little bit of the end of the black wire and the red wire. Alright, so now 
I got the top to my Xbox 360 finished. As you can see, I put a hole in there for the fan with three little holes um, right here for the screws. And then there's going to be one hole right here for the wiring and the fan to go through. So it goes um, in, uh, to the inside of the Xbox. This little hole right here is for my switch. And then this little hole right here is for my uh, little piece of the motherboard that I cut off from my... Okay. So this is how the case looks after it's been properly wired. And I have all the holes cut in it and all that stuff. So here's the fan installed on the top right here. Um, there's your toggle switch, your rocker switch right there. Um, and here's that uh, little power supply I have. I plan, <coughs> I plan to put um, to super glue it down later on. I just don't have any super glue right now. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to show you how this wiring works on the bottom right here so you can see the green wire from the fan uh, let me get it in the camera so the green wire from the fan right here it runs all the way around the top of the case until it goes right here and if you look closely I don't know if you guys can see it let me give you a close up it splits off right there now the red wire from the fan goes straight to my power source right here. That li the little red wire right there is hooked up straight to my power source. That goes directly from the fan. And the this red wire, the other red wire, it goes to the ground on my power source right there. That one goes around and over here to my switch. And as you can see, the little black wire from the fan right here is connected to the front of my switch right there. And then the thicker red wire is uh, connected to the second lead of the switch right there. And that goes all the way over to the power supply. So basically, <clears throat> what you're doing is you're going to run the red wire from the fan all the way just straight to the power supply and then you're gonna take the black wire and you're gonna wire the black wire to the to one lead of the switch then you're gonna take the other wire that I told you to get at the beginning of the video you're gonna connect that to the second lead of the switch and then you're gonna connect the other end of that wire you just connected to the switch to your power supply Alright, now I'll demonstrate it working so you guys believe me or whatever. Uh, so I have my 12 volt power supply, just gotta plug it in. Right here. So you can take, so there's my little power connector, as I already showed you. So I just take this and plug it in to my power connector. Now it's off right now the uh, switch is flipped off so nothing's happening when you flip the switch blue light comes on and the fan starts spinning and yeah so there you go that's the fan uh, mod part